Hey there, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog. Today I have a card for you that features some Lawn Fawn goodies for the Lawn Fawnatics Challenge number 24, which was fun with dyes. I just love that little Yeti. He's too cute. He's either a Yeti or a Bigfoot. You, I guess, can decide. I grabbed my Tim Holtz Stars stencil along with some Twisted Citron Distress Ink and a mini ink blending tool and I just started ink blending across the panel. The nice thing about that particular stencil is that you can line up those stars and you can just keep working across your panel. I didn't fill the whole thing up, I just wanted a small amount of them on there. So I just kept going. Then I grabbed the dies, which are the Your Legend or Lovable Legends die and uh, some micropore tape and I'm just going to stitch those or put those in place. Grabbing my Big Shot, I'm going to run that through and I'm actually going to do that a total of four times going across those stars. And I'm going to do something with that called, well I guess I call it um, stamping inlay. I'm not ex exactly sure if there is a technical term for it, but that's what I'm calling it and I grabbed my Tim Holtz or my Tonic Studios stamp platform by Tim Holtz and here I am taking the stamp, the little foot stamp and I'm kind of just positioning it in there and if you wiggle it around you could feel it just kind of slide into place and then I'm going to move the top panel ink up my little feet with some Lawn Fawn Noble Fur and I'm going to stamp it down. And again, the nice thing about the platform is if it doesn't get a good stamp or a good impression, you could just stamp it again. And I'm placing it back in there after I've cleaned off my stamp and I'm going to wiggle him back in there, put him where he's supposed to be. And if once I like where he is, I'll pick up the stamp, move my top panel, ink it up again, and stamp it down. For this third set of footprints, I ended up putting my top panel back down and inked up my stamp and stuck my st or stuck my stamp in there, wiggled them around, inked it up, and I didn't remove the panel. So it is doable. I don't necessarily recommend it. It happened to work out for me, but uh, I don't know that I would do that again. And now I have replaced that with a piece of Express It for Copic coloring. And I've put my little Bigfoot down in my platform. And I'm going to ink him up with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Stamp him down. And again, the nice thing about the platform is you can ink it up again and stamp that back down to get a good crisp uh, coverage. I'll clean it off and put it back. And then I'll pull him out and get him ready to color. I started off with some E81, moved on to E84, and then a darker color of E87. So I covered the whole thing with the E81, as you can see. And when I move on, I, I wanted to grab E84, but I realized I grabbed E87, which was a little too dark for his skin tone, for his face. But I ended up grabbing my E84 and kind of blending that out a little bit. One of them things that I love about the Copics is because they stay wet they can be blended a little bit easier because they're an alcohol based marker so I grabbed the E81 again and I just kind of blended those colors out so it's not quite as dark and now I've grabbed my E87 on purpose this time and I'm just kind of adding some shadowing around his fur making my light source, uh, typical it seems for me is my, my light source seems to come from the upper right hand corner. I don't know why I do that, I just do that. And so my darker shadows always tend to be on the left hand side. And so I'll just keep blending him out, adding some more dark to make it good and contrasting. It's pretty simple coloring actually. I didn't go too crazy, didn't even grab a whole lot of colors. I stuck with those browns. 
and once I'm happy with that, I noticed that I did go outside the lines a little bit, so I gab grabbed my colorless blender and just kind of moved that color back in. And for his nose, I will use RV11 and RV14. And because I colored over his tooth, I came back in with my white gel pen to make his tooth good and white. I grabbed the dye again and a little bit more of that micropore tape. I'm going to tape it down and run him through my Big Shot off screen. Next thing I do is I grab a piece of four and a quarter by 11 inch green cardstock. That cardstock, I don't know what the name of it is. It came from my stash. And I will score it at the five and a half inch mark, uh, fold it over and give it a good crisp edge with my bone folder. Now I've decided which greeting I would like to put down. So I'm gonna put it back in my stamp platform and it's the You're a Legend. So I'm going to ink that up with my um, Noble Fur Lawn Fawn ink and push that down. Clean it up and then I'm going to put the, my card base in, which is a standard A2 size card base. And I'm going to go ahead and decorate the inside because, you know, you got to decorate the inside. I grab my Yeti or my Bigfoot and uh, that Twisted Citron ink and I inked him up, stamped it down, and now I'm going to decide on my greeting. I decided to make this a birthday card, so my greeting is going to say, have an unbelievable birthday. And one of the things I like about Lawn Fawn is that they have all those separate so that you can kind of add your greeting how you want. And you could even use different colors, I suppose, if you wanted. But I just grabbed the Noble Fur Lawn Fawn ink again, inked that up, stamped it down, discovered that I'd made a didn't get quite as much coverage as I wanted on the birthday part and inked it again and stamped it down. And now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to grab my ATG gun, which is just a um, a glue gun or not a glue gun, a uh, a tape runner, and I'm going to stick my stick my panel down, line that up, and I'm going to grab my foam tape which is the 3M by Scotch. Put it all over the inside so it's good and stable, and then line those up with the feet and stick my panel down. And I'll go ahead and use that foam tape on my Bigfoot as well and put him down so he's got some good dimension. And that is actually going to finish my card once he's down. So there it is. I hope you like it. I hope you got inspired and uh, maybe even had a little bit of fun, learned something. And leave some comments if you'd like. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button so that you can see more.